Woe is she, reading number 35. Will you pray with me? Lord, thank you for life. Thank you for the opportunity that we have right now. All of us human beings on this planet right now, Esther 414, for such a time as this. Let us see this life you've given us here on earth as an opportunity to do your will on earth as it is in heaven. Let us not focus on matters of the flesh, on issues of the flesh, on flesh use, but let us set our eyes on things that are unseen. Let us set our hearts on you. You tell us in the Bible that if it's if we're able to see it, it's temporary. But the things that are unseen are eternal. We thank you for this opportunity to be your flesh, to be the body of you, to be your hands and feet, to get to work doing what you tell us to do. Let us draw near to you, James 4, 8. Let us be close enough to hear your call and heed your call. Let us be in a close personal relationship with you, a parent-child relationship, a father-child relationship, and let us be confident in you and in your word and in your design. Let us be willing to be obedient. Let us stay engaged and surrendered. Let us hydrate ourselves with the word. And Lord, I pray that you will empower us with your Holy Spirit. It is cold and raining outside, and I want to thank you for the sun that I know is shining. While it's raining, I still know that the sun is shining, and the sun is shining whether we can see it or not. You are with us, and we thank you for that. Lord, I pray that as we hear these words, that hearts will be touched. I pray that your Holy Spirit will fill us. Fill us with your Spirit, Lord. Let us sense your presence and let us be present and feel your presence. Let us be awake and aware that you are real, that spiritual warfare is real, and that the enemy is our enemy. And while he is so loud, and so blatantly wanting to divide us, I pray that we will unite as brothers and sisters in Christ and come together and strengthen your body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Today's reading is Colossians chapter 1. The book of Colossians was written by Paul, who was Saul. It was written in approximately AD 60, which means approximately 30 years after Jesus was crucified and rose and to this day sits at the right hand of the Father. Colossians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the holy and faithful brothers in Christ at Coloss, grace and peace to you from God our Father. We always thank God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ when we pray for you because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all the saints, the faith and love that spring from the hope that is stored up for you in heaven and that you have already heard about in the word of truth the gospel that has come to you all over this all over the world this gospel is bearing fruit and growing just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and understood God's grace in all its truth you learned it from Epaphras Epaphras our dear fellow servant who is a faithful minister of Christ on our behalf and who also told us of your love in the Spirit. For this reason, 
Since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and asking God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all spiritual wisdom and understanding. And we pray this in order that you may live a life worth a life worthy of the Lord and may please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience and joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves." in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you in to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith established and firm, not moved from the hope held in the gospel. This is the gospel that you heard and has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. Now I rejoice in what was suffered for you, and I fill up in my flesh what is still lacking in regard to Christ's affliction, afflictions, for the sake of his body, which is the church. I have become its servant by the commission God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the saints. To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. We proclaim him, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom, so that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. To this end I labor, struggling with all his energy, which so powerfully works in me. His energy, which so powerfully works in me. The book of Colossians, written by Paul, to combat errors in the church and to show that believers have everything they need in Christ. That's it for today. May we, by the grace of God, go. Willing, obedient, engaged, surrendered, hydrated, and empowered by the Holy Spirit. I love you dearly. Let's do this again. Bye.